The price of gasoline affects everyone and everything. American families are paying for it, not only at the pump, but also in the cost of your groceries, your package deliveries, and virtually everything you have and everything you buy. Trump expresses concern over rising gas and food prices. Former President Donald Trump voiced his discontent over the escalating costs of gasoline and groceries, blaming current President Joe Biden's policies for the surge. Trump highlighted the soaring price of gasoline, which is nearing $4 a gallon in many states, marking a nearly 6% increase in the last month alone. He argued that high gas prices impact American families' budgets, affecting not just fuel expenses but also grocery bills and other purchases. Trump accused Biden of favoring policies that lead to high gas prices, attributing the rise to the administration's actions such as shutting down the Keystone XL pipeline and canceling oil leases in Alaska. He criticized Biden's approach to energy, stating it has led to chaos and conflicts globally, further exacerbating the price surge. Moreover, Trump criticized the significant rise in food prices, noting a nearly 39% increase since his presidency. He blamed Biden's economic policies, alleging excessive spending on initiatives like the Green New Deal and benefits for undocumented immigrants. Trump vowed to prioritize lowering gas and electricity prices if re-elected, promising to revoke regulations and restore stability to the energy sector. He concluded by pledging to revive the economy to its former strength, asserting that under his leadership, Americans would once again prosper economically. You had inflation at the highest level in 52 years. Joe Biden and the radical left Democrats printed trillions and trillions of dollars and wasted under the Green News scam. So there it goes again. The price of gasoline is skyrocketing. And just like the old days under Biden and came down a little bit, but it's going up and it's going up big. It's nearing $4 a gallon in many states and much more than that in some. Prices are up almost 6% in the last month alone, and they'll be going even higher. It's going to go higher and higher. The price of gasoline affects everyone and everything. American families are paying for it, not only at the pump, but also in the cost of your groceries, your package deliveries, and virtually everything you have and everything you buy. Joe Biden actually wants high gas prices because they help with his ridiculous policy of abolishing gasoline-powered engines and forcing everyone into expensive all-electric cars that don't go very far, as you know, and they take a long time to charge up. That's why when Joe Biden came into office, he shut down the Keystone XL pipeline, which was a travesty. He canceled our oil leases in Alaska, but he approved the Russian pipeline going to Germany and all over Europe, and he waged war on American energy. That's what he did. He waged war on anything American having to do with energy. In addition, Joe Biden's weakness plunged the world into chaos and conflict, further driving up the prices you're paying at the pump. And they're going higher and fast. When I'm reelected, reducing the price of gasoline for American families will be a day one priority. And that includes electricity and everything else that comes with it. We will drill, baby, drill. We will slash energy-crushing regulations, and we will restore peace and stability to bring gasoline prices down for everybody. Remember, three years ago, we were energy independent, and now our country's a mess. Thank you very much. Under crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States of America, the price of food has surged nearly 39 percent. When you go to the grocery store, you're spending $150, $200, even $250 or more, and you can't even believe how little food you're getting or buying, comparing it to three years ago when I was president. The cost of basics like eggs and chicken and steak is way up, and it's getting worse and worse with each passing day and month. Every time you go to the grocery store and pay these brutal prices, just remember, this is crooked Joe Biden's inflation, and there's never been an inflation like it. It's the worst in 72 years, but I think it's much longer than that. Under my leadership, we had no inflation. It was virtually zero. Then Crooked Joe came along, and you had inflation at the highest level in 52 years. Joe Biden and the radical left Democrats printed trillions and trillions of dollars and wasted under the Green News scam. And that's what it is. It's the Green News scam. It's a disaster. And taxpayer-funded benefits for hordes of illegal aliens we're paying so much for illegal aliens, but we're not taking care of our soldiers, our veterans. We're not taking care of our people. 
and that includes the elderly. Now you are paying the price in your grocery bill for all of Joe Biden's waste and plunder. We've never had anything like this. He's the worst president in the history of our country, and he's not taking care of our people. He probably doesn't know that because I'm not sure he knows anything, but he's not taking care of our people. He looted the Treasury to enrich his political allies, and now you have to pinch pennies in your own shopping cart to cover the cost. And you look at it on a weekly basis, how much more it is. It just keeps going up and up. It's a disgrace, but I will fix it, and I will fix it fast. I will end Joe Biden's inflation nightmare once and for all, and we will quickly rebuild the greatest economy in the history of the world. We will drill, baby, drill. We will get energy prices down to a level that we haven't seen in four years, and then everything else will follow. You're going to be very happy again. You're going to be very rich again, and that's the way we want it to be. Thank you very much.